SCP-949 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures The area in which SCP-949 manifests itself is to be surrounded by two meter tall electric fencing. The perimeter of the containment area is to be patrolled by guards at all times, operating in groups of four. Due to the size of SCP-949, use of vehicles is authorized during security patrol. Any civilians approaching SCP-949 are to be taken into Foundation custody and dosed with a Class A amnestic. Exploration of SCP-949 is to be carried out using D-Class personnel. Exploration of SCP-949 must be authorized by three members of Level 4 personnel. Description SCP-949 is a large amusement park located in the state of <coughs> which, according to the entrance gate and several documents within the park, is designated Wondertainment Land. SCP-949 has been observed to periodically disappear from its location on several occasions, often reappearing several days after with new facilities. Facilities inside SCP-949 demonstrate highly anomalous properties, more information on which is available in Facility Log 949-1. These anomalous facilities do not appear to intentionally cause harm to humans, and no casualties have occurred during exploration of SCP-949 as of yet. All of SCP-949's facilities are staffed and maintained by instances of SCP-949-1. Instances of SCP-949-1 appear similar to typical amusement park mascots, and their costumes depict a variety of animals. All instances of SCP-949-1 seem to wear a unique costume, and no duplicates have been cited to date. Autopsy of recovered SCP-949-1 instances show that their interior is composed entirely of wool, confirming a lack of human presence. SCP-949-1 instances consistently maintain a cheerful attitude despite the situation, even when being dissected or otherwise injured. Several advertisements for SCPs currently in containment are present in the form of posters or souvenirs. SCPs depicted in these advertisements include, but are not limited to, Data expunged. All SCPs depicted appear to be related to the individual or organization known as Dr. Wondertainment. This, together with the name of the amusement park, suggests that it is the creation of this entity. Interview 949-1-1 Interviewer D-94923 Reading questions from Dr. <laughs> Interviewee Instance of SCP-949-1 Sammy the Salamander Notes Interview took place during exploration of SCP-949-1 by D-94923. Um, hello? SCP-949-1 <laughs> what? How do you know my name? Mm, well, uh, <laughs> welcome to Wondertainment Land. Oh! Never mind. I guess. Can you identify yourself? Well, I'm Sammy the Salamander. Where does SCP-949 go when it disappears? The park isn't ready yet, friend. What do you mean it's not ready? <laughs> Sorry kids, Sammy has to go now. Goodbye! Closing Statement After the interview, SCP-949-1 fled at a remarkable speed. Facility Log 949-1 
Facility name, Hook a Duck. Maintaining SCP-949-1 instance, Frank the Fox. Facility details. Facility contains several animate duck toys, which the subject must retrieve from a central pool area using a hook. Duck toys demonstrate panic and pain when hooked. When subject succeeded in retrieving three animate duck toys, the maintaining SCP-949-1 rewarded them with a large teddy bear. Facility Name Spooky Manor Maintaining SCP-949-1 Instance Birdie the Bat Facility Details Facility resembles a haunted house attraction present at many regular amusement parks. Upon emerging from the facility, the subject appeared to have several limbs and a human head stitched to it. Subject was not aware of these additions until they were brought to its attention. The human head attached appeared to give the subject information on rides as they explored the park. Facility Name Random River Rapids Maintaining SCP-949-1 Instance Terry the Trout Facility Details Facility appears to be a river ride similar to those used in regular amusement parks. Subject remained in the facility for 30 minutes before emerging. The subject reported no abnormalities other than the presence of several sea creatures with seemingly randomly positioned limbs, eyes, and gills. Facility Name Bumper Cars Maintaining SCP-949-1 Instance Billy the Badger Facility Details Facility is a bumper cars attraction identical to those used in regular amusement parks. Upon entering a bumper car, all bumper cars in the facility begin moving independently and attempting to consume each other using rudimentary jaws formed from splints in the metal. When subject fell out of their bumper car, they were ignored and the other bumper cars continued to consume each other until a loud buzzer sounded. Cars immediately ceased movement and began to regrow missing sections, which displayed different coloration than the original portions. Document 949-1 Document was delivered to Overseer HQ by an unknown entity on... <laughs> Greetings! Due to their continued support of our products, Dr. Wondertainment would like to cordially invite his valued customers to the grand opening of Wondertainment Land. The grand opening will take place on... <laughs> and Dr. Wondertainment hopes it will be a fun-filled night for the whole family. Guests will have access to all of the park's facilities and will be invited to watch the soon-to-be-released Fiery Fireworks. As Dr. Wondertainment is sure the O5 Council will attend, representatives of Dr. Wondertainment will arrive to escort them to Wondertainment Land on the morning before the grand opening. Hope to see you soon, Dr. Wondertainment.